Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last episode we started uh, to break into the Warren sewers. And we didn't get too far but we did get somewhere. <laughs> we made it to the shop next to the save and refresh points. And we're going to pick up where we left off. So go ahead and head south from the same point and cross the bridge where you will come to another puzzle-like area of the sewers. Go ahead and operate the first button that you come to. And before, um, go ahead and head south and then west and operate the button that you come to and this will cause a gate to raise on the right of you and this will completely drain the water after that's after the water's drained, go ahead and operate the button again. And then return back across the bridge to the ladder that we passed up earlier. And descend it. ahead and head up the stairs and operate the button to raise a gate. This will create a shortcut. So go ahead and head east and then south back to where we were before. to the let's see here um. if it's a fight you want you got it So head east and then cross the gate to the south. And on the east hand side is a ladder that we can descend. Okay, so that ladder is very hard to see. I apologize for that. Then go ahead and head north and jump over a bridge to reach a button. Another shortcut 
to uh, area that we were at earlier <clears throat> after we've made that shortcut go ahead and head back to the ladder and climb it hey take the initiative I always say now I'm gonna go ahead and fight this battle because I wanna I wanna go ahead and learn these skills before we proceed on. It should only take one battle. It's over. Again. There we go. Okay, so with that out of the way, go ahead and head back north and then to the west. And then finally head north to reach the new area on the other side of the save point and refresh point. And go ahead and in the southeast part of this area is a hidden pot that we can probe for a seed. Now this is a very hard to see pot. It's one of the hardest to find or not really to find but just to, to locate in the game. You're going to have to use your right analog stick to move the controller. And I can't tell you how many people go ahead and pass right on by this pot without seeing it and it contains a seed which is very important because if you miss this you won't get the final prize at the end so be very be on the lookout for this very hard to find pot once you have it go ahead and enter the door to the north and you are now in the magic tank area of the sewers Now you're going to see a lot of this area. It's humongous. Magic energy is leaking out. The magic energy storage tanks. <laughs> Whoa. Aura has some pretty defense and technology. What are they planning? Alright, so go ahead and head north. If it's a fight you want, you got it! Send the ladder on the right of the magic tank. And then follow the path to the north. And then slightly west. And then head east and then south to reach a tower in the middle where you can repair another magic engine
go ahead and operate the button on the right because there's two buttons one on the left and one on the right and then go ahead and head up the west area <clears throat> and you'll reach a button that you can operate. Creating a shortcut. Now head back down and notice there's a refresh point on the middle tower in case you need it. You wanna fight or what? Maybe next time. Now, the first time you come to this big area of the magic tank, you're going to you're going to be wandering around. There's not really much to get here, so go ahead and head down the east stairs and climb the ladder. At, and this is going to be the southeast main tower. So you're going to notice there's a lot of chests in this area, but we're not going to be able to reach them yet. So that's, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just continue east once you're on top of the southwest tower. Or southeast tower, I'm sorry and enter the door that's all the way to the east. Go ahead and head, now you're back in the conduit area. <clears throat> so go ahead and head south. And then take a uh, left and head west. And enter the door that's further west. And we are now at the treatment plant of the Ura sewers. So continue heading west until you come to a button. Go ahead and operate that for another shortcut. And to the left of that is a chest that contains five demon sculptures. With the chest looted and the shortcut created, Head back to the east and enter the door we just entered from. <clears throat> now go ahead and head back east and then head south to reach a pot that's a lone pot to the south by a gate. And this contains another seed. Then head back north and head east this time. And then continue heading east. And then head west. And you'll enter a door. Now we're back at the magic tank. And here's where we can start looting this big area. So this is kind of tricky. I'm going to give you as best directions as I can. Go ahead and head west. And operate the button to create another shortcut. Now head south. And you'll reach a chest. Hey, I wasn't ready. This contains two toxin butterfly scales. Now go ahead and walk around the tower. 
to come to another button that we can press to open a gate. Now continue heading west. And there is another button that we can press. And head around to the back of the southwest tower. And ascend the ladder that's in the back. <clears throat> At the top of this ladder to the right is a chest that we can open that contains some wisdom earrings, which is very good. Level 6 black white magic, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go ahead and head back down the um, ladder and head all the way back to where we first entered this area. Hey, I wasn't ready. Now a quick note is you're probably Never gonna want to hurry up and house. learn the Wisdom Earrings which is level 6 black white magic for Seth before you enter the next area. Because that way we can just go ahead and put that on. We can go ahead and equip the skill to Seth once she's learned it and then unequip the accessory so that our other immortal Ming can learn it once the control switch switches back to her. <clears throat> so after you made your way all the way back to the ladder that we skipped earlier, go ahead and climb it. And then head west. To the west is another button that we can push to raise more gates. <clears throat> and to the west of the gate we just raised is a chest that contains godly dragon tears. Now the exit is just to the north of here. So go ahead and um, before you enter the north uh, doorway to exit this place, there is a container that we can kick to the right that contains a soul medicine. contains everything for here so go ahead and head north and enter the door to exit the magic tank area and this will lead us to the conduit 
go ahead and descend the stairs and then head right. Okay, so before we enter this next area, you're going to want to heal up. Everybody healed up, go ahead and enter the door to the east. And we finally made it to the underground dock. Now before you move, I'm going to go ahead and tell you you might want to heal and get prepared because there's going to be a boss battle here. Once you're ready, go ahead and head north. My ship! This one? Yeah, the Nautilus. Ain't she a beaut? Ah, oh, she's locked up in here. Poor thing. She's a good ship, I can tell. She definitely has a feel of the ship you'd pick. Yeah, and I'm stuck with her. Seems like fate. But if she's here, that means we can get her out of here. Okay, let's go, Tolton. Uh, thanks for not scrapping her. Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> what? Damn. Isn't that one of the creatures that smashed over the bits? Hey, hey, you, get out of my way. You're getting between me and my reunion. Can me and Nautilus have a moment here? Give it our all to get around this one. Alright, so now you're, after moving forward and after the scenes have played, you will be thrusted into a boss battle with a magic beast. Now, just to let you guys know. I learned how to fight this way. Don't get too scared to fight, your worshipness. There's always a way. Hey, Mama! I bet we could use that! We'll start her up by shooting some magic energy to that engine, Mark, and then we'll... Set. I told you a hundred times. Move now. Talk later. Get her started. Alright, so to start off, notice that the Magic Beast has 10,550 HP. Now, you can just all-out attack this guy and take his HP down, but chances are he might wipe you out so that the... So now there is something else that we can do in order to win. So what you're going to want to do is use black magic. <clears throat> you can use any spell. And you can target a separate um, enemy. Well, not really an enemy, but a separate target called the Dock Crane. Now if you notice above the target info, there is a bar in the top left corner called charged power now normally this is a boss's special attack and when that thing is full you're going to want to be careful but in this case 
the charge power works in your favor because once that's full it's going to do massive damage onto the magic beast so your main objective for this fight is to attack the dot crane but the only way you're going to get to it with seth and tolton is to use magic so go ahead and use any type of magic flare out aqua ground up whatever you got on the dot crane with seth and equip tolton with any kind of magic um, you can go ahead and use level three black white magic the adept earrings go ahead and equip that and uh, just use flare on the dot crane with tolton and with said since he has a rifle which is long ranged you can just go ahead and shoot the dot crane Magic Beast will use his attacks to attack you. <clears throat> Just keep up the uh, spells with your with Seth and Tolton. Flare works just fine. While Sed attacks with his rifle. So I'm going to repeat the strategy, you're going to want to use an all out offensive on the dock crane. And as you can see... Stop! Did we get it? Oh shut up, it's just not enough. Try again. The crane will start moving the more that you power it up by attacking it. But the only way to attack it with Tolton and Seth is to use magic. And Seth can use his rifle. So just a few more hits. And it should be powered up. One more time round. You're gonna have to hurry up. Starting up, it's working. And deliver the final blow oh, once yeah. the crane is charged up. <laughs> For massive damage on the magic beast. I still got it in me. We're up. Let's go. All right. Let's All go. right. So Move after the cr uh, crane is fully charged, it should take out the magic beast in one shot, letting you win. And after the boss battle, the party will board the Nautilus. <clears throat> now, quick... Uh, tutorial I'm gonna give you guys when you escape the sewers you're gonna have to press buttons on the Nautilus in order to avoid objects being thrown at you or you prevent want. you from crashing into okay. objects that are in your way okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you all you're gonna want to do is there's oh, gonna be a button yeah. that is displayed okay. in the corner of the screen you're gonna want to tap that corresponding so, button until whoa, whoa, it disappears I was just wondering so that what you this can was. maneuver out of the way. Huh? Oh, oh. Three of them. <laughs> They're coming. What's wrong? Afraid to fight? Fighting? <clears throat> I've studied how to do it. This is the first time I've had to actually fight monsters. That's yeah, pretty different from practice rounds. How are you, gracious? Uh, aren't you frightened? I love it. 
We're off! Alright, so here's where that tutorial comes in. Now all you're going to want to do is just tap the button that appears in the corner of the screen until it disappears. If you mess up, you're going to take damage. So for example, I'm going to tell you how to do the first button. As you can see, the first button was B. All you have to do is press it and it will disappear. That means you have successfully dodged the attack. The second button is A. Just tap the A button. Now some buttons will require you to repeatedly, repeatedly tap the button until it disappears. So just remember, whatever button pops up in that circle, just press it until it disappears. If it doesn't disappear when you press it, that means you gotta mash it. <clears throat> if you mess up and you hit the wrong button, the Nautilus will take damage and you can only sustain three shots or else you'll crash and hit a game over. So here's a button where I have to repeatedly tap A for it to disappear. All you have to do is just keep on pressing the button. In this case it's X. Keep mashing X and it'll disappear. And by now you should be getting the hang of what to do. that attack I was mashing it but my Y button is so sticky that it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't register it's a dead end no it's a way out how we'll fly fly hang on And after a very epic cutscene. <laughs> this is great! Yes! We did it! We lost them! <laughs> Woo! What a great ship! I love it! Oh. Are we flying? So now we have an awesome new ship that can not really fly, but glide. Ah, all right. uh, that was 
was lovely. <clears throat> awesome, huh? Wasn't that fun, Your Majesty? I'm nobody's majesty. I'm just a man. And I finally discovered what kind of man I want to be. And what kind of man is that? A brave man. I want to be like you, said. Laughing in the face of danger. Yeah. It's not as easy as you thought, is it, Your Highness? Yeah, everyone wants to be brave. But if you really mean what you say, then you have to be more daring. Be more of a leader. Leader? That may be setting the bar a little too high, said. Alright, so after the cutscenes, you now have a new ship. A badass new ship. And the control will switch over to Jansen, Ming, Cook, and Mac. Once you have control of Jansen, go ahead and exit to the west and descend the stairs. bottom of the stairs go ahead and head to the west to reach the world map <clears throat> and back on the world map there's going to be a new destination available called the refugee camp west so go ahead and choose that to be taken there This is the Goatson Refugee Camp. Now as soon as you enter the camp, go ahead and save your game to the north at the save point. And that is going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. Which was kind of a long episode, but I really wanted to get all that taken care of and out of the way. So that we can pick up right here at the Goats and Refugee Camp on the next episode. So we'll get a lot done on this next episode. It's very important, as there are some good optional stuff that rewards you with some pretty good stuff. So I'll see you next time on the next episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey.